Finding a mountain bike for under £500 can seem like a bit of a minefield, but fortunately you're in the right place. It's totally possible to get something that's up to the task of proper off-road riding without breaking the bank, but there's a big difference between how durable and enjoyable the best budget mountain bikes are compared to the not-so-great. Here's a selection of the best MTBs our Bike Radar test team has ridden in the last year. First up, we have the Voodoo Azen, which is a great option if you're looking for an all-rounder mountain bike. That's because the relative light weight and bigger wheels mean it'll cross ground efficiently, while the geometry is friendly enough that there is plenty of control on offer. A few choice upgrades, such as a wider bar or a grippier front tyre, can also easily change the character of the bike. So if it's not 100% to your taste, it shouldn't take too much to get it feeling just right, making this a compelling, versatile all-rounder at a reasonable price. The Calibre 2 Cubed replaced the 2.2, which was formerly a top performer in the budget mountain bike stakes. The 2 Cubed builds on this heritage and, while a bike of this price will always have to compromise somewhere, the modern geometry, such as a 67.5 degree head angle and smooth handling, more than makes up for what it may lack in terms of build. The sub £500 mountain bike market is a more fiercely fought market than ever before, so when compared to the competition, the 2 Cubed might fall short of being the best on test. But if you're after a bike on a budget, you're unlikely to be disappointed by this one. The Vitus Nucleus 29 VR is a properly trail-ready 29er that is built around a superb frame that will delight out of the box. At 67 degrees, the head angle cuts a good balance between stability and not making the big wheels feel too barge-like on tighter trails. The reach and wheelbase aren't radical, but are long compared to the stunted beginner bikes that mostly populate this price point. The wheels, which are built with WTB's i29 rims, are properly tubeless ready, which is rare at this price. There's also internal routing for a dropper post, so you can upgrade when you have the cash. In the meantime, there are no bottle bosses on the seat tube, so you can slam the stock rigid post. The Kapur 2 is the mid-priced option in Evan's budget hardtail range. It has a spec that is superior to many similarly priced bikes, and the coil sprung Suntour XCR32 fork is better and smoother than expected. It also has a confidently stable front end which makes it ready for some rowdier riding. However, the frame set does feature fairly outdated geometry. That being said, the wide bar, short stem and Shimano componentry mean that this is still a compelling choice in the budget bike stakes. The Tough Tracks Comp Disc is one of the few bikes at this price point that performs well and is available from a traditional bike shop. And whilst this may make it easier to buy, it also means that value can suffer slightly when compared to the competition. The frame's geometry is more traditional than some of the other budget hardtails, but if you aren't looking to hit anything too gnarly, this may not be an issue. The frame is relatively upgradable, but it's fair to say that the SR Suntour fork struggles against some of its competitors. However, this would be a relatively easy upgrade and could really help the Tough Tracks comp to shine. If you want to read the full bike radar reviews on all the bikes we've mentioned, click on the links in the video description. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell so that every time we upload a video, you get a notification. Bye!